I used to have calendars that hung on the wall or little magnet calendars that were mailed to me by my insurance company. I usually stuck those on the refrigerator. Those sort of things fell out of favor when those Dayminder books came along. I, I never had one, but I guess they were okay. I had friends who had their whole lives wrapped up in those thick things. Well, thank God the world's moved on. Now I use Apple Calendar on my iPad to keep things organized, on track, and up to date, and you can too. Apple's iPad Calendar app is easy to use, it's powerful, and just a great way to keep track of appointments and birthdays and more. And it's already on your iPad. If you're a senior or beginner wanting to learn a few basic things about using Apple Calendar, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Rich, and I make videos for beginners and seniors who want to learn how to use their iPhone and iPad without all the frustration. I try to keep everything simple. I leave those super deep dive videos to others. Here, I just try to show you how you can get up and running. Today, I'm going to give you five tips that will help you get started using Apple Calendar. And by the way, once you get the hang of using the Calendar app, you'll wonder how you live without it. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to share your calendar with someone else. My wife and I share a calendar. It helps us stay in sync. So, here are today's five tips. I'm going to show you how to make sure your calendar is backed up to iCloud, which is super important. How to turn on notifications, or turn them off if they drive you crazy how to navigate around the calendar app, how to add a new event to a calendar or delete an event, and how to create multiple calendars. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a bonus tip on how to share your calendar with someone else, you know, like me, with your spouse. All right, let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you is how to make sure your Apple calendar is backed up to iCloud. Very simple to do. All you do is go into settings like this. You tap on your name up here and then you go to iCloud right here and then you can see that you have a whole bunch of different applications that can be backed up to iCloud you want to go down and find calendars here I don't have it backed up so I'm going to turn it on and now every calendar entry I make is backed up to iCloud so what does that mean backing it up to iCloud it just means that all of your devices will sync up so if you happen to have an iPhone and you open the calendar app, it's gonna have the same appointments on it that you have on your iPad. So it's really important to keep that backed up. If for some reason your iPad were to die and you had to go buy a new iPad, if you've backed up your calendar appointments to iCloud, then when you set up your new iPad, just everything shows up again. You don't have to worry about losing any appointments. And so that's why it's really important to make sure your calendar is backed up to iCloud. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to turn on notifications. So your iPad will give you a notification when um, you have an event or an appointment coming up that's on your calendar. And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is you go back to settings like we were before, and you go to notifications right there, tap on it. And you go down and you find calendar, tap on that. And then right here, you can click on allow notifications or not allow notifications. Notifications, that's really kind of a personal preference. Sometimes you just don't wanna be bugged and nagged by your iPad that you've got an appointment. You know you've got an appointment and you don't want any notifications. Sometimes it's handy to have them. So if you wanna set it up, you just tap on allow notifications. And then you have three types of notifications here. You have a lock screen, that means that if your iPad is sitting there and it's you, you don't even have it on, it's just sitting on the table in front of your TV set and you have an appointment that's coming up, a little notification will pop up on the screen and let you know that you've got an appointment. So the next thing is Notification Center. And Notification Center is um, a place that you can get to and look at whatever notifications you have. And if you take your finger and swipe down from the top, you get Notification Center and you it'll show you all the appointments that you have on your iPad if you allow it to give notifications to Notification Center. So going back, um, we also have a choice of banners and what that means is that a banner will actually show up at the top of your iPad when an appointment is due and it'll stay there until you swipe it away if you have the banner style set to persistent which just means it's going to stay on there until you just take your finger and swipe it away. But these are the three ways that you get notifications 
on the iPad and you can turn those off or on and you can do them individually too if you don't want banners and you don't want notification center you just want lock screen then you just uncheck those but if you want all three then you just check them back like that and that's how you get notifications set up for Apple Calendar all right finally let's dive into the calendar app I want to show you how to navigate around the app so when you open calendar it'll typically look like this and you have some icons up here at the top the first one is a little calendar icon on your calendar so you can tap that and you can see what calendars you have available here and if you don't want to see a certain calendar you can just uncheck it so maybe US holidays you don't want those you can uncheck that and it's just a list of your calendars and when you tap it again it goes away so you have your whole calendar on your screen the next one looks like a little inbox if you tap on the inbox sometimes people will send you an invitation so they're inviting you to a party and they send you a, an invitation via email and you accept that invitation that invitation will show up in your inbox and if you accept it here then it goes onto your calendar so that's what the inbox is for and if you tap on the next one it just shows a bunch of lines with a little dot you actually get a list of all of your appointments over here and when you tap on them you can go to any one of them and it'll switch the day just like that you can go to Earth Day you can go to Cinco de Mayo and if you want to go back to today all you have to do is tap on the today view right over here just tap on the word today and it takes you all the way back to where you were at the very beginning so that is how you navigate using these little icons over here if you don't want to see this list you just tap on it again and it goes away and then of course you have different views for your calendar you've got day view which shows you whatever you've got going on for the day you've got a week view which shows you everything here you've got a month view that you can look at and then you actually have a year view that you can look at and so you can see where your appointments are just like that so you've got day week month and year really handy and it's not very complicated but that's about all there is to navigating around on the um, calendar app okay the next thing I want to show you is how to add an event or an appointment to your calendar so it's it's pretty simple you open up the calendar app like it is here and all you do is you press the plus right here so I'm just going to say visit mom and if you'll notice it says today and maybe I want it to be an all day event I'm just going to visit mom for the whole day you can just click on that and it turns it into an all day event for today's date but maybe you change your mind and it's not an all day event so you just tap it off and you're going to go between maybe in the afternoon say two o'clock and you're going to stay till maybe five o'clock and you do that and then you just click add and now you've added an appointment to your calendar and here we're looking at it in day view and you get the details of the appointment over here by tapping on it and you can see visit mom and then of course it shows up in the week view over here as well and that's a really simple way to just add an appointment to your calendar now maybe you want to delete that appointment maybe you made an appointment plans changed. you know how life is and you just need to delete it so all you have to do is tap on it and you'll see at the bottom where it says delete event you can just tap delete event and it's gone and it's as simple as that and that's how you delete an event okay the next thing I want to show you is how to create calendars now you know in the paper world you had one calendar and you know you'd flip it up and there'd be the 30 squares there but with Apple's calendar you can have multiple calendars and sometimes that's really handy uh, to keep track of stuff so to create an additional calendar you simply tap on the calendar here and you tap on add calendar and maybe you want a medical calendar to keep track of your doctor appointments so you type on medical or you create and you, you type the name of the calendar medical we'll just leave it at medical and we're going to leave the account as an iCloud account we're going to change the color to let's say red and then we tap back and 
then we tap done. So now I've got a new calendar entitled medical. And let's say I'm going to make a doctor's appointment for, let's say next week, Thursday at 2 p.m. So you press again and you're going to make an appointment and you can put doctor appointment. Except this time, you're going to choose the calendar, and it's not going to be the calendar, you're going to choose medical. And now you click add, and as you see, the appointment turned red, which shows you that it's on your medical calendar. And maybe you don't want to look at any other appointments at all, and when you have multiple calendars, you can just unclick them, uncheck them one by one and leave on only your medical calendar. And now you'll see just the doctor appointments that you have. And then of course, if you wanna add them back, you just simply tap in the little round circle and add the calendar, calendars back, the appointments for those calendars. And you can have as many calendars as you want. You know, maybe you have a vacation calendar, maybe you have a medical calendar, maybe you have a, a church calendar. I mean, it could just really be anything that you want to keep track of. So just remember that you can have multiple calendars. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how to share a calendar. So, you know, my wife and I, she has an iPhone uh, and an iPad, and I have an iPhone and an iPad. And we like to know where each of us is going to go. And we have a vacation calendar and we have a medical calendar and these kind of things. And we can share that. And when I share that with her, my calendar with her, then when she opens up her phone, she can see what my appointments are. And it's a really cool way to let a few people keep track of where you are. And sharing the calendar is really easy. All you do is you tap on the little calendar. And then we're going to say we're going to share the medical calendar we just made. You click on the little I. And now you click on Add Person. And I'm going to type in Rhonda. And then her email address automatically comes up. I'm just going to tap on that and I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to click on done. And now you'll see that the calendar is shared with Rhonda Boland. So now she has a copy of my medical calendar on her iPad and I have it on my iPad and she has it on her iPhone and I have it on my iPhone. It's just something that you might want to do with important calendars just so everybody can stay on track. And that is how you share a calendar. Wow, I know that's a lot of info to take in, but you can practice making appointments and delete them. There's really no way to mess things up since you can just you know, delete any entry that you make on the calendar. So take your time. And if you need to go back and watch this video a few times to figure everything out, just do it. You'll be glad you did. Well, as always, I hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.